Welcome to TrueNAS Enterprise Customer Success. Today's guest is Greg Bilby, IT Manager for Texas-based TrustWorks. TrustWorks LLC and Axis Trust Design serve individuals, general contractors, and builders in the construction industry. The companies fabricate products in Texas and design them in Michigan. Like many vendors in their space, advancing IT infrastructure and practices are a pressing challenge for their technical staff. Greg, welcome to our podcast. Please tell us about your role at TrustWorks and the critical function that storage plays at your firm. I first started with Ax Trust Design. I am kind of an evolved position from originally being a trust technician doing the design for the actual manufacturing. I moved into an office coordinator and then an IT position only a couple of years ago. My job went from working, doing the tasks up to IT, and then fully bringing the IT from low-level simplistic up to full virtualization on a storage array. What is the state of your IT infrastructure? These companies being construction industry, IT is really kind of an afterthought. But we have taken huge strides in trying to bring our network from the basic peer-to-peer single server, basically one system acting as a server, or, or possibly if we were lucky, we had real server computers rather than just a workstation. And we've moved from that simple peer-to-peer, what I always refer to as popsicle sticks and bubblegum, to nearly an enterprise-class network. We have all five, soon to be seven sites internetworked with firewall connection. We have, of course, the X20HA is supporting a data center virtualization. That powerhouse of a machine is actually hosting our essential engineering application. And and that's split between all of our locations. I can't understate how shocked all of us were just to see it run faster than some of our workstations. How many locations and users does your infrastructure support? The support goes through our whole network, three manufacturing facilities, one location acting as a remote backup, and then the design location. One of our main manufacturing facilities in Caldwell has the X20HA, and then the design facility here in Tecumseh, Michigan has the X10S. The number of users concurrent on a given day right now doesn't seem to exceed 20 or so, but again, we have 20 users with performance that far exceeds an individual workstation for the most part, and that unified structure keeping our data available in the way that we need. Please tell us more about the performance requirements of your essential engineering application. It is a non-optimized, old 32-bit application. It is not memory optimized. It is not processor optimized. So we have a system that essentially is doing rapid fire reads and writes on the disks in in, you know, what modern computing you'd look at and say, this is absurd, but we still need to support the application. This is really our only option. So I sized and built the data center, including the storage array to basically handle this up to 200 users. With the IOPS on that all flash X20HA, it should handle the 200 users as spec. It should be able to grow with us for the next 10 years. How does the performance of TrueNAS compare with your previous solution? Prior to this data center, we had individual workstations doing the compute load. Once we put in the storage array and the compute systems, which are also IX systems provided, we centralized that load. So the only central portion before would have been a SQL database server, which of course now still exists on this storage. The performance was acceptable because we could have an individual workstation with a really high-end processor handling this. I say high-end, it's literally just core clock speed. Since it wasn't optimized, this is a single thread, single core application. So we really needed to throw core clock speed at it. What was the single most challenging business issue you were seeking to overcome with your tech refresh? The biggest issue that we had across not just my IT field, but was for the entire company as a whole, that database couldn't share its information or its files where we needed in our other physical locations. You couldn't split the files out. You couldn't replicate a database. It was if something wasn't live in real time in one location, you risk building the wrong thing. And the scale at which we operate within a day, that could become too much of a cost impact. 
So the ultimate goal was a single source, single database. But again, the performance had to be there in order to make it usable. We explored a couple different cloud solutions before building our own. And the big killer to those was performance. So we weren't going to build something that couldn't exceed our expectations. We shot for the moon first. Have you conducted any benchmarking to compare the performance of the previous system with TrueNAS? Within the application, we've had users that were familiar with the older systems. So they've used the individual workstation. They then used the cloud solution. And then now they're working on our data center. We have unofficially tested between a live system of the old style and then this new style data center just to see, hey, how long does the application take to pull up a layout? One of the more inefficient processes of the software. And it is surprisingly fast. And, and that's what I've continued to tell my boss is all I've ever heard is, wow, I did not expect it to go at this speed. Have you noticed any efficiencies by having both servers and storage purchased from the same vendor? We were already working with IX systems. And when I was talking about our plans, the question came up. He said, you know, we sell servers too, right? And I said, get me a quote. Tell me what you can give me and don't half bake it. Make sure you get me something right out the gate. Because I've had back and forth with some vendors that I said, I need high core clock speed. And I hope that that conveyed well. And when it came back to me, it did. We started looking into the AMD Epic line and... Basically, the price was right. The specs were what I asked for, not some game of, no, I said core clock speed. I, I don't want 2.8. I don't want 3.5. We're at 4.0. Were you aware that TrueNAS is open source storage software? And how did that affect your decision to consider it? I've built my own storage systems with Linux or Windows servers directly, not with this style of open storage. My former coworker had used FreeNAS and TrueNAS. I have heard of FreeNAS back in the day, never used it personally, but knowing what I know about the company, about the, the software, and then going off of my former colleague's recommendation, I said, yeah, I don't see any problem using it. So ever since then, like what I started out with, I've been pleasantly surprised. Overall, how would you describe your experience with TrueNAS support during your system's deployment? We have the gold support on the X20HA. We had a controller completely die due to a power event and it never came back online. That process took some time to fix. It took some pain and pushing back my deployment to fix, but I couldn't have asked for anything better. Real world's going to happen and support said, try this, do this, look at this, let's try and work together. And the end result was we'll ship you a new controller. We were able to quickly troubleshoot. I didn't have to explain every single time. Yes, I do. In fact, know what I'm talking about. It was just a professional back and forth. And then we said, let's replace the controller. Did the experience of a former coworker influence your decision to choose TrueNAS? The former colleague who had made this recommendation, he did show me a lot of it first including a lot of what became our deployment. He was doing a lot of show and tell. And, and I, I do believe his was just a random refurb Dell server that he threw TrueNAS on. Yes, it did affect my opinion. How would you describe your overall experience with TrueNAS Enterprise? I walked into this being very old school. I would not have considered an all-flash solution had I been fully allowed to follow my own heart and my own desires, I would not have ended up with something I would have been this happy with. Are there any lessons learned you would like to share with others considering TrueNAS Enterprise? It's stable. Don't fear using it. The capabilities, the redundancy, and then, yeah, the, the performance that came out of it, it's unparalleled. The other lesson here that would be a takeaway for people who are on the fence is don't shy away from the support because a lot of people say, I'm never going to use that. Why would I pay for it? It pays for itself the very first time you use it. And especially in my environment, which was, I can't have this go down. We were down to a production system with this critical storage device down to one controller if I didn't have the support, it would have been a painful journey to resolution rather than the relatively painless one we had. I'm not really looking elsewhere for the future. We've been speaking with Greg Bilby, IT manager for TrustWorks. Our thanks to Greg and you, our audience, for joining us today. We hope that you have found this time to be well spent. 
For more information about how TrueNAS Enterprise Solutions can deliver true data freedom to your organization, please visit the URLs listed on your screen. Reach out to us on social media to join in on the conversation. Or if you prefer, click on the chat box or get a quote button on the TrueNAS website for a free consultation to learn more about how we can help your organization achieve true data freedom. Mm -hmm.